Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Emily. I'm a first year CC tutor for foundations for the Abecedarians class. Um, I'm gonna go over what we did in class today for new grammar and for review. And I'm gonna make a separate video about what we did for music for the fine arts section. So this is cycle one, week nine, new grammar. Um, the first thing that we did was geography. I draw on the maps ahead of time in different colors. I use this map that I got from CC Connected, which I will link in the description box. And um, today we used our little Lego people. So each student got a Lego person and I told like a little bit of a story as we were going through the map. So um, first we swam up the Yangtze River, which was in green. So everyone swam, swam up the Yangtze River. And then we hopped into a boat on the Yellow Sea, which was orange on our map. So we hopped in to the Yellow Sea in a boat and we took the boat around to the Yellow River and then we took our boat up the Yellow River which was yellow on our map and then we got out of the river and went up onto the land we went to Beijing first um, which was a purple star and then from there um, we walked up to Mongolia which was outlined in blue and then we took a trip uh, back home. So we left Mongolia, we went to Beijing, we hopped back in our boat, went down the Yellow River, um, paddled through the Yellow Sea, and then swam down the Yangtze River back to our home where we went to bed and we all go to bed in our Ziploc bag here. Um, so we've done that kind of storytelling for the last two weeks and it goes over pretty well. Um, it can be a little bit distracting for the kids with like really big imaginations. They start imagining about actually swimming or actually being in the boat and that can be a distraction for them. But um, for the most part, I think it, it works and it's nice to be able to um, kind of have the different parts of the map as landmarks to go through. Anyway, so that's what we did. For geography and then after that um, each kid got a q-tip and we went back through all the places and as I said the names of the places they would say the name and then they could erase it yeah so that's what we do pretty much every week for geography and it works well for us then it was snack time and during snack we do timeline first. So I bring my timeline cards, the kids are all sitting down quietly eating their snack and I will say what's on the timeline and show them all the picture and then I go put the timeline card up on the board and I say the name of the next one and show them. They repeat after me, I put them on the board in order, then I play the timeline song and point to them on the board in order and then each kid takes a turn coming up and using the pointer and pointing to the timeline cards in order as we listen to the song. And my son who is two is usually up there with a tiny pointer just pointing at all the things. After that is science and I used these visual aids. I just put this one up on the board and then I talked about this one. So today we're going to talk about some parts of a plant. There are three parts of a plant. One part is the leaves and for leaves we're going to do this for our hand motion. So we put our hands all the way up in the air and we waved our hands around like we like leaves. Then the next part on a plant is a stem. A stem helps the water come up to get to the leaves 
and it also stores some nutrients. And for stem, we're gonna put our hands down to our sides like this and our bodies are gonna be our stems. And then the last part of a plant is the roots and the roots help keep the plant stable in the ground and also bring water up from the ground into the plant. So for roots, we're gonna stretch our hands out really wide and I can't show you because I'm sitting down, but we bent over and we touched our toes and kept our hands really wide like the roots. So I taught them those hand motions and then we did the song. And it's kind of to the tune of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Um, I made it up. I did a little voice recording and put it on CC Connected so you can get it there too. Um, so it goes like this. What are some parts of a plant? Leaves, stems, roots. Leaves, stems, roots. So we sang that through three times. And that was fun because it was like, it was kind of like we're doing head, shoulders, knees, and toes with emotions too. For math, I wrote the multiplication tables up on the board. I went through and said each number and the kids repeated after me as I pointed to each number um, on the multiplication table. So 15, 30, 45. Then um, I had the kids do some actions while I played the song. So for the, you know, when you play the song through one time, it really goes through the numbers twice. So for the first time I played through the song, for the first half of the song, I had the kids pick apples. So we reached up across the body like this and we were picking apples, really stretching. And then for the second part of that first time I played the song, we jumped around like kangaroos. So we hopped around like kangaroos. And as the kids were doing the apple picking and the jumping, I was pointing to the numbers on the board. I had also written the numbers really big and clear across the bottom of the board in order. So um, 15 was in red, 30 was in green, 45 was in red, 60 was in green, so that I could point to them easier and the kids could see them easier on the board. So then the next time we went through the song, the first time the kids just got under their desk um, while they listened to the song or sang it and then they got up for the second part and they marched around like soldiers saluting because the music was kind of like soldier music. Then for Latin I reviewed how we pronounced all the words and I had like a little cheat sheet where I wrote down the pronunci pronunciations on my um, I make a copy of the foundations guide where I keep my notes. So the first, first one was us, like puss, like puss in boots. Then the next one is oos, like moose. Um, then the next one is ooey, like gooey, like a gooey cookie or gooey slime. And then the next one was oom, like vacuum. And the last one is oo, like shoe. And then uh, oos, so for the plural it's oos like moose. Then this next one, I forgot to write something down for that. And I can't remember how it's pronounced, but it's like a oom, I think, or oo oom. Um, I saw somebody else pronounce it as like you're clearing your throat, so like uh um, uh um. Uh, so yeah, there's that one. Then ibis, like ibus like you're driving a bus and oos like moose and ibis like you're driving a bus so they i explained the pronunciation they said the sounds after me the endings after me and then this is just what we do now for latin um so during when i played the song for the for all the singular noun endings we used our little monster finger and for all the plural noun endings we used our googly eye finger. And then for history, I used some visual aids. I used this card 28 from the timeline. This is Confucius and this is Lao Tzu. 
So I showed those pictures to the kids and told them who these people were. And then I showed them this, which I got from, I think I got this from the Sandbox or CC Connected. Either way, I'll link it in the description. So this is Lao Tzu, and he, can, he founded Taoism, and this is the yin-yang symbol, which represents Taoism. And this is Confucius, who taught compassion and obedience. So around the 6th century BC, so we're going to do this for 6, and we're going to say around the 6th century BC, so we're going around. Lao Tzu, we did an L by our head to represent Lao Tzu because he was like a philosopher. Founded Taoism, we're doing this symbol for the yin yang, um, which emphasizes harmony with nature, and we did our leaf hands for nature. And Confucius, this is our symbol for Confucius, we put it up by our head with the letter C um, because he was also a philosopher taught compassion, we do this for compassion, and obedience, we did this for obedience, like we're putting our toys away, like our parents have asked us to clean up our rooms and we're obeying them and we're putting our toys away. So I taught them all those hand motions and then we went through the song twice and did the hand motions. And then the last thing was English. Each time we do the prepositions for English, we review, I just say, a preposition relates a noun or pronoun to another word, and they usually say that along with me or will repeat after me. And so I just taught them the hand motions, which is outside, like we're looking outside out a window, over, past, regarding, like I want to talk to you regarding something, and since. Um, and so then we just do that faster, faster, and faster. And I tried to relate it to the eighth notes this week since we talked about that in fine arts. Um, I said, okay, now we're going to do it for the last one. I said, okay, now we're going to do it the fastest that we can. It's going to be so fast. It's going to be like eighth notes. So then we did the hand motions and said them as quickly as we could. For review, I play the preposition song and we just play it up through the part we're in for that day. And we play follow the leader. So I choose a different line leader each time. Um, and one of the kids leads the line around the room as we listen to the preposition song. And then for geography, we reviewed China. What we do is um, I give the kids an M&M for each uh, week that we're reviewing. So for China, they got one M&M and they had to move the M&M around on the map based on where I was saying. And then we reviewed the Roman Empire and the Indus River Valley, which I think that was week seven and eight. Yeah, week seven and eight. So I try to review the current week for geography and then um, two weeks from the previous week. And I kind of cycle through. So next week I'll probably go back to week five and six to review. Um, and then we tried something new for review today. I got these clear cups and I guess I wanted to challenge the kids a little bit more than I had been because I hadn't really been asking them to recall things from memory. I was really just leading them through the memory work again, um, whether it would be playing a song or singing a song that we used, for example, for science from a previous week. So this week, I wanted to start challenging them a little bit more and asking them to recall things on their own, or maybe just prompting them with like the first line of the song to see if they could get it. So um, what we did with these was anytime a kid answered a question correctly, they would get a cup 
and we were building a crystal palace is what I called it. Um, or I said they could imagine it was a crystal castle if they wanted. So there was a part on one of the desks where no one was sitting so we just built a base of like maybe four or five of these and then we started building on top. So anytime a child answered even partially correctly, like for example, um, I asked what are some parts of a plant and one of the kids said leaves, but he didn't say the other two. Well, I still gave him a cup and he still got to build the crystal castle. So we really did not get far in the review, but um, I still felt like it was fun and I'm excited for the kids to be challenged a little bit. So I think we might try that again next week. The last five minutes I just played the timeline song up until where we're at in the timeline song and as we were listening to it we were cleaning up the room because where we meet is a church room and so we always have to arrange the furniture back to how we found it and like back not vacuum but what is that thing called it's like a vacuum cleaner that doesn't plug in anyway it doesn't make a lot of noise so we could listen to the timeline song while we're cleaning up so I kind of switched it around a little bit this week and that worked out pretty well. And most of the kids already know the timeline song anyway. So that's it. Um, that's what we did for week nine for new grammar and review. I hope that was helpful. And um, like I said, I'm going to make another video about what we did for fine art. I'm going to do that as a separate video, but I should see you guys next week. Bye.